Martin for uh, getting us started in English. I'm just going to continue with that. Um, and uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the story of Credify. We, uh, as was just mentioned, we've raised $29 million from leading venture capital funds in both Israel and the U.S. And we're a big data company for an incredibly important financial asset class known as commercial real estate. And think about us this way, we're sitting at the crossroads of prop tech, as it's called, which is real estate technology, and fintech. Um, and we use all of the many technologies that are routine in other financial industries to bring transparency to an extremely laggardly industry, one that does not adopt technology or data very readily and is now beginning to, which is commercial real estate. Basically, we're Bloomberg for commercial real estate finance, and the heavy emphasis on finance means that we're not just tracking buildings. We do track buildings. We have over 8 million commercial properties in the U.S. that we track, but we're most of all about the flow of capital into that money, whether that capital is about buying and selling real estate or primarily about lending to real estate, and lending is super important in the real estate market. It's what's known as a highly levered asset class, meaning real estate, just like in the business of buying a home, commercial real estate is extremely dependent on getting a loan from the bank or a bond issue that finances your purchase of real estate. We track all that flow of capital in and out of the market. I want to just tell a little bit of the story of the real estate market because not everybody's as familiar with it. First of all, it's huge. In the U.S. alone, it's worth $15 trillion. It's a humongous asset class in commercial real estate. And of course, there's nothing inherently American about commercial real estate. There are big buildings. Um, including shopping malls and apartment buildings and office buildings all over the world, including here in Israel, of course. Um, and in the U.S. alone, it's $15 trillion. It also happens to be extremely tied to the banking system. So what this slide here t t tells in both words and pictures is basically that there's an incredible overlap between the level of lending, which is the green bars in the chart on your left, and the blue line, which is the price of bank stocks. And you'll see these two things, levels of lending and bank stock prices are incredibly correlated. That's because the US, the U.S. banking system is incredibly tied to commercial real estate. When real estate goes up, the banking system goes up. And if real estate goes down, as it did in 2008 and 2009, well, then the banking system comes way down as well. And it's important to know that, just to know it, it's particularly important to credify because that's the fundamental thesis of this company. So as I've said, it's a huge market. It's one that's extremely tied to and exposed to the banking system. The third thing I want to mention about it is it's extremely sleepy when it comes to adopting technology and data. So whereas we heard from Yuval Tal before about the payment system working a certain way, and Brandon just talked now about consumer investing, particularly in that 80% of the market working a certain way, all of them based on data, the real estate world has only now come to the importance of data in order to make the investments happen in ways that are both safer and more transparent and liquid. And we're a key part of that innovation. We're bringing the sorts of machine learning, artificial intelligence in general, and other sorts of data analytics to a market that's not been used to seeing that kind of insight before. Instead, the market's based itself solely on relationships and gut feelings, which if you think about it is very 1910. It's not exactly a cutting edge market in terms of its mindset. We're helping to change that market. And in that way, quite similar to some of the insure tech companies that you've heard about as well. Our clients' problems start with the fact that it's a huge financial asset class where every bet is a big bet. A small loan in the real estate world is a million dollars. A larger loan could be $20 million, could be $100 million plus. And so every bet is a big, chunky bet, and it is an opaque asset class where information is not easily available. So you want to make smart bets. The same way as you want to buy a plane ticket, you can research it all over the place. You'd love to be able to do that in the real estate world. Historically, it's not been the case. And the financial system, as I said, is massively exposed to CRE, and yet the banks, even the biggest, most prominent of banks, and some of them are our clients, have a great deal of trouble seeing even what's in their own data. And if you think about that problem from one side, that's the problem of the financial system. On the other side, the borrower has the same problem. They can't see where to get the cheapest loan or the bank that's most likely to do their deal. So in other words, how do you power your big dollar, high risk business, in a market where you have zero visibility even into your own data. It's a tough problem. We help the market solve it. We work with all sorts of customers that play in the financial ecosystem uh, sitting behind real estate. In other words, we are a fintech business. We serve the capital markets, the biggest players, whether they're banks and lenders on the one hand, banking regulators, hedge funds, and real estate firms, of course. And these are just some of the, uh, the logos of our clients. Just to call out a couple, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are both clients of ours. They're two of the biggest banking regulators in the U.S. Berkadia is a real estate lending arm of Berkshire Hathaway, as in Warren Buffett. 
a client of ours, Moody's, a client of ours. All of them are based on data that we've generated here in Israel to help analyze the U.S. commercial real estate market, particularly commercial real estate finance, to help people do their jobs better. We get a lot of recognition in the market. What the stuff on the left says is that we are helping to innovate the market using data. We are leaders in both CRE or prop tech, as well as CRE finance. And what the stuff on the right says is we use our data to help the market see what's really going on, and we work closely with the media to do that. So I just want to call out one of the articles on here in the middle. It's a piece in Fortune magazine that came out about three, three weeks ago, and it was powered by our data, basically saying the banking system in the U.S. has way more risk than anybody out there realizes. That article is picked up very widely across the U.S. financial media because people in the U.S. are concerned to understand where has the banking system been and where is it going. We help the market understand that. And how we help is by providing a tremendous amount of financial data to the real estate world. We cover huge amounts of real estate, 8 million properties, $13 trillion in loan originations. And we help the market see what's going on. But I want to take a moment to tell you one other thing that we do in this market. We don't just help lenders know what's going on. We help borrowers know what's going on. We, in other words, use our own data to help people get loans. And the people that we're working with in that sense are the owners, people who are Generally speaking, smaller owners, they may own two, five, ten buildings somewhere in the U.S. And those buildings are the places where we all live or work or play. And yet they have a really hard time getting loans because most of the banking system ignores them because most of the banking system doesn't even know they exist. So we help those folks on an online lending marketplace get funding from some of our biggest lending clients nationally. We pair those two sides up, powered by our data. So an online lending marketplace powered by this very same big data that we sell to the lending institutions. We cover the entire U.S., both the markets and the players, lenders and owners, which is what you're seeing here. And we help banks themselves do their job better, not just by buying our data, but the top of this pyramid tells, them, tells you that we help them organize their data better. So essentially what we're doing is using big data, AI, all the sorts of tech that you're used to seeing in other markets to power the commercial real estate finance market um, and make it a safer place. Thank you all.